What up guys, Badger here. Welcome back to another Dance Tutorial Tuesday. So I'm sorry guys, I wasn't posting any dance tutorials for the past couple of uh, weeks or months. I don't know, it's been like a minute since I haven't done any tutorials. So I am back now and I've tried, I will try my best to post uh, a tutorial every Tuesday. So today I'm gonna teach you uh, how to incorporate uh, mime. If you don't know what mime is, is to actually mimicking that uh, you have something out of, you can create whatever you want out of nothing. So I have nothing here, but uh, you have just to use your imagination and be creative to create whatever you want. So there is nothing here. I'm gonna give you an example of what mime is. Boom, I just created a balloon. This is a balloon, right? I'm gonna play with it. Boom. So this is a balloon. Boom! Balling! So this is just an example. You can just create. This is a, a frame. This is like a picture frame and I'm actually just traveling. And then... You can... Uh, this is a circle. This is a kind of like the car. You can do whatever you want. You can uh, imagine that there is like a wall. This is the most popular one that every mime is doing. It's actually there is an invisible wall. Boom. So this is a really fun concept that I really, that I really like to do in my dance freestyles. And uh, yeah, it's really simple, guys. I'm gonna just explain how it works and then it's up to you to create whatever you want. So I'm gonna teach you the really basic one, which is the invisible wall. So you're gonna lift your hands and actually put them and then uh, stop them like this. Look how it looks uh, on the side. Bam. Don't try to do like a really big pop unless you're actually doing something else. But for this one, you just boom. This is a uh, boom. This is a dime stop because you're actually moving and then you're stopping, but without popping. You just boom, stop, boom, stop. So this is how it looks. Boom, boom. You put one hand here, one hand up or down or at the same level. It's up to you. But uh, you put one, two, and then try to move all your body to the side. But uh, keep your hands on the same position which means I can just walk I can do some circles I can go from side to side down up but my hands are actually at the same position so this is what gives the illusion to be like really spectacular if done well so yeah so this is just a really simple one you can do it like this you can move and then bring your hands to the front you can move and then go back to the side. Ta 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 ta. You can go up. Tick tick. You can put them down. Go down. To the side. Or you can play with the three dimensions. Like so. Bam. So another fun way that I like to do is uh, imagining that, that, that there is a rope. You just like this, and then you catching a rope, and then it's like you're actually climbing something, like when you climb a wall using a rope, but this is, you're gonna do it uh, straight forward. Imagine that there is a rope, one, and then use like, just mimic as it's actually hard to move, so it will give the illusion better. One, two, uh, keep your hands, one, two, and then move one feet. You can go backwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, tick, tick, tick. And you can actually play with it. You can, uh, now the rope is upside down. Boom, to the side, boom. Now it's no longer a rope, but it's just, something that I'm playing with. It's like a pole or something. 
whatever you want to call it but uh, yeah the third example i want to show you guys is the actually you have an energy ball or a, a ball boom like this imagine that you are catching a ball with your hands boom by doing some circular shapes with your hands to give the illusion that there is something here boom you can move move you can use it to change directions to move you can catch it like so you can go and then come back but you give the illusion like it won't move it will stay in the same direction then you catch it boom ah. so yeah this was a really simple fun for you guys to learn how to incorporate mime into your dance so I really hope you liked my tutorial. If you learned something, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment, whatever move you want to see next Tuesday. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Baju Ninja Dancer, Twitter Baju Ninja, Snapchat Baju underscore Ninja, and Facebook Baju Dancer. Yeah, see you later.